I'm beginning the day by taking Sophie for a walk. I'm taking a little detour to my favourite bookstore to treat myself. I love coming here and leafing through the pages of beautiful books. As I'm going to be renovating my garden soon, I shall probably look for something on courtyard and container gardening. Sophie and I enjoy walking here at Carlton Hill. It has the most incredible views over the city and is a great place to come to relax and just be. In the summertime, I like to come here and watch the sun setting. Back home, there is a little project I've been meaning to tackle for a while, organising some of my cupboards. It's true that we tend to only share some of the most perfect parts of our lives. I can tell you that although I may appear super organised and tidy, even I sometimes let my cupboards get out of hand. This one has become a kind of dumping ground where I shove everything in when I'm rushing. It's time to sort it out. My glassware is in a tiny cupboard and everything is cramped, so I'm going to move them to this one where there is a lot more space. First, I will sort and organise all of the things I have in my messy cupboard. Now I'm cleaning with baking soda, vinegar and some rose essential oil.
it's quite warm and sunny here and I'm starting to feel the first hints of spring. There's still a chill in the air from winter and for me that still means craving comfort foods. One of the things that I've been into quite a lot lately is soups and the latest soup that I've really enjoyed is a vegetable broth that is just so warming and comforting but it's also super healthy and in these times when we're all battling a lot of illnesses for me I think it really boosts and makes you feel a lot better and probably prevents a lot of illness too so I think this is a really good one for me to share. So this soup or broth as I like to call it is really easy to make it only has a few ingredients it's just a case of doing a little bit of prepping chopping and then we put it all into a pan and let it cook so it's very very simple and everything is so beautiful to look at and this for me is the joy of cooking working with fresh delicious ingredients and really enjoying the process of chopping and just looking at all these beautiful things so we've got some carrot here which is great and I cut it into quite big chunks because I like this to be a very chunky hearty broth and the carrot provides a little bit of a crunch, I don't overcook it, and also a tiny bit of sweetness. The base of the broth is onion and celery, so we've got some of that. And then we've also got some leeks, which are one of my favorite things to cook. I just love that when you start to fry them in a little bit of olive oil, they really come, in to, come to life and really make a dish sing. Then I've got some parsley, so I've separated the stalks from the leaves and I'm gonna fry these stalks in with the rest of the ingredients and add in the parsley at the end. Again, parsley is one of my favorite things to cook with. I think it really brings dishes alive. I have some butter beans, which I love to cook with. I use them often to make butter bean spreads and pastes, but they're also really delicious in soups. And lastly, let's not forget lemon, which I cook with almost every single day. It's one of my absolute favorites. And this just adds such a zing to the, to the whole broth and makes it even more beautiful. So let's get started. <laughs> I'm adding a little olive oil to a hot casserole dish. I want this soup to be low fat, so I'll be use mostly water to fry the ingredients. First, I'm adding in the onion and celery. I'll fry these until soft and translucent. Now I'm adding in the parsley stalks, I'll add the leaves at the end. Next I'm adding the leeks and once they have softened I'll stir in the carrots. We'll then add in the vegetable stock and simmer for about 15 minutes with the lid on. Now it's time to add the butter beans for the last 10 minutes. Lemon juice really brings the broth to life. Let's add in the parsley, the colour is so beautiful. I've decided to add in some leftover kale to add another texture to the broth. It really works well and I would suggest adding if you can. there we have it, a really hearty, delicious, healthy soup that will keep you going right through till spring. 
and let's have a taste. It's just filled with so many vegetables. And the lemon, I think, is what really makes the dish perfect. It just brings it alive at the end when you think that it might not be working. Very delicious. Nourishing to the soul. And the broth is good too. I hope that you enjoy it. So I thought that I would end this week's video just with a little chat. It's been a while since I've sat down face to face with the camera and talked a little bit. So that is what I'm going to do now. I'm pleased to say that I have got my new kitchen tiles for the kitchen. As you know, I've spoken a lot in the past that I don't really like the red. When I'm filming in the kitchen, because it doesn't have a window per se, it's got an open arch which leads to the dining room which has a window. It can be quite dark and I think that the red tiles just make it look even darker. Also, I'm kind of wanting a more clean look and the red is too vibrant and it, it kind of takes over the whole room. So I want something more neutral. So the solution that I've managed to find were some stick-on tiles and I'm very excited but also very nervous about doing that because I've never done it before and it does look like it could be a little bit tricky and if you're not careful it could make a bit of a mess. I was going to film the whole process but I've decided that's probably not a good idea. I will spend my time doing it very carefully, making sure that I'm doing it properly and then I will share the results in a further video or through a picture on Instagram. Either way, you'll definitely get to see the end result so please stay tuned for that. You saw today that I was in the bookstore here in Edinburgh and I do love to read. I've been reading a lot more. You may have heard me talk about in a previous video that I was getting up a lot earlier in the morning to do some of the things that I wanted to do that I didn't really have time for. And I have been managing to keep up with that. So one of the things that I've been doing in that time is reading. So I bought two new books. The first one is this one, it's called A Little Life, and this is a novel. It's one that a lot of people have told me about, so I thought that I should get it. Now, the only thing about this novel is that I hear it's quite sad and moving. I usually like to read uplifting stories, so this is something different for me, but I think it's always good to have a bit of a change and do something that you wouldn't normally do. I've only read a few pages because what I'm doing now is I set my timer on my phone for 30 minutes and in that 30 minutes I read as much as possible. I've just started this one and I can tell you already I'm enjoying it. It's quite a big book and what I can tell is going to happen is that you're really going to delve into the lives and characters of the people in the book and really get to know them so maybe that is why people have enjoyed it so much and found it so moving. So that is the first one. And the second one that I've bought is a cookbook. Uh, I've been really into cookbooks lately. You know that I love to cook and I always like to improve my knowledge and skill. So I've been buying a lot of those. And one of the ones that I wanted to get for a long time but never did was Mastering the Art of French Cooking by Julia Child. Now, I only first heard about Julia Child when I watched the film Julie and Julia, which is one of my absolute favourites now, with Amy Adams and Meryl Streep. I really enjoyed that film. It made me feel so happy, uplifted, and I just loved learning about Julia Child after that. So yeah, since I watched that movie, I did become a little obsessed with Julia Child, watching all of her old shows on YouTube. And the thing that I like most is that she was just so fearless and unapologetic about the way that she cooked. She used to cook live on TV and even if she made a mistake, she laughed it off, didn't make a big deal of it. And that has really inspired me to do the same and treat cooking in the same way. Because as you will know, whenever we're cooking, we're all going to make mistakes. That is life. It's part of what happens. And the best thing to do is to laugh about it and then try to perfect it next time. My diet is quite healthy and French cooking tends to be heavy on sauces and creams. But it's really more for the technique of cooking that I've got this book so that I can learn and improve on the techniques. I tend to, when I'm cooking, just throw things together and hope for the best. It usually works out well. 
but I would like to learn more about the base of cooking and learning some things that I don't really know about just now. I just wanted to say thank you for the wonderful response to my first product, my Botanica fragrance candle. It has been a huge success, a lot of people have purchased it and the comments and feedback have been truly wonderful. When I created that candle I always knew that I really loved the scent and the packaging but I, obviously I could not know whether everybody else would feel the same so to receive the amazing messages that I've received from people who've bought the candle is really rewarding and I'm so happy that you love it. I can tell you that we've got some more products in the Botanica range coming in the next few weeks which I'm so excited about because it's something that most people will be able to buy. It's easy to ship and I think you are going to love it so I'm very excited about that. If you want to find out more about the products and have the first insight to them the best thing to do is sign up to my newsletter on nicholasfairford.com because I always send a newsletter telling people about new products and they get to know and order them first. So that is the best way to learn about new products. Also on nicholasfairford.com is my blog. I think if you enjoy this channel you would definitely enjoy the blog too. I cover all the same topics and I really enjoy sharing photographs and my writing with you all. So do check that out. I've just published two blogs this week. One about uh, skincare products that I've recently discovered and one about Glen Eagles Hotel. So if you watched the video last week, the blog shows you more pictures of the interior that we didn't get to see, like some of the rooms and suites. So I'm sure you would enjoy that. So I really do thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the support here on YouTube and for people who've been buying the products too. It means the world that I'm able to live my life doing this job which I love and to share it with everyone so thanks. So here in Edinburgh as I mentioned before it is starting to feel like spring. The sun has been out quite a lot, it's been relatively dry, quite warm and I'm really feeling that maybe spring is on the way. So I'm very excited, spring is my favourite season. A lot of ideas about spring content, I'm very excited to get out and about into the warm air and make some beautiful videos, but I'd also like to hear what you would like to see from me during the springtime. I'm going to be planning all the content pretty soon for March, April, May, so please leave me a comment and let me know what you would like to see. Well. I think that is everything that I wanted to say. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you next week. But until then, have a really great weekend and a wonderful week ahead. Bye-bye.